a mod that allows authors to surpass game limitations and for users to enjoy the outcome. Today we install Force and verify that it works. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to modding my way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Requirements Make sure the game has been launched once since installing it so that it has registered with your PC. Know what game version you have. Open the game folder. Inside the folder, locate and right-click the game's executable. Open Properties, Details, Product Version. Take note of this. Take note that F4SE does not support Windows Store releases, Epic Games, or consoles. Installation. Open the linked script extender page. Open Files. Expand both the main and old files and locate the option that corresponds with your game version. You can even check the file archive for older iterations. Once your version is located, manually download it. Open the archive that is downloaded. Open the Force folder. In the second window, open the game folder. Drag and drop the files inside. Mod Organizer Users Open MO2. Force should be auto-detected. If it's not, open Modify Executables. Next to Executables, click the plus symbol. Add from File. Open the game folder. Double-click the F4SE loader. If you want to change the title, you can. Apply. OK. From now on, launch the game from the Run drop-down menu. Vortex Users Vortex Users open your dashboard. Force is auto-detected. If it isn't, look in Tools. Add Tool. New. Name it. Select the Target folder. Open the Fallout 4 Game folder. Double-click the F4SE loader. Save. From now on, launch the game from here. Verifying that F4SE works. At the game menu, push the tilde key to open the console. Different language keyboards may require a different key press. Check the pinned comment for some of those key options. With the console open, type the following. Get F4SE version. Push enter. If any version at all is returned, the script extender is working. If not, recheck your steps. Has 4 stopped working? Well, game updates and creation club updates also update the game's executable. When this happens, 4's temporarily breaks, and so do mods that rely on it. Unfortunately, all we can do is wait for the script extender and our mods that utilize it to be updated for things to work again. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.